Okay, telling you about his father, Jerry Wilson. Yeah. He was a slave, mm -hmm. and he went to the Civil War as a servant with his master, and he re was to receive a pension from the Confederacy. Mm -hmm. uh, he also helped found um, Mount Pisgah Baptist Church in Gastonia, North Carolina, where so many of your relatives go. I know. And, and talk about Grandpa Paul Jerry. He was blind. And so people would come to him and he would touch them and he would be able to diagnose what they were doing, what was wrong with them. And your cousin Juanita said that once he went to this lady's house who couldn't walk and he touched her and he had his son, grandson Moses to take him to the, to the woods and he went and got some herbs and made a salve and made some tea, rubbed her leg with the, med with the herbs and gave her the tea and said, now, you people let me know what happens in a few days if she can walk. And the next day, somebody came by and said, you know that lady you touch? Well, she's up walking around. Wow. I said, wow. Jesus. <laughs> I would, but that was Grandpa Jerry. And we're not sure how long he lived, but um, he lived a long time, mm. a very long time. He did. And, and um, you and know. So this is... Grandpa this, Jerry is his father. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is um, Babe. Remember Keith? Yeah. He and Keith have the same birthday. You know, Keith won a Pulitzer Prize with the Washington Post. So he called him not Lay, but LeBay. Oh. <laughs> when he was trying to be funny. Right. Like LeBay. LeBay. Yeah. <laughs> but Hattie Stringfellow could read. And Miss Moselle Hood said that she taught the other children in the neighborhood how to read out by the Mount Pisgah area. Mm -hmm. She taught them how to read as well. Oh, okay.